What's up, Sharks? This is Mr. O with the second set of flip notes for Matter. It's going to be a really quick set of flip notes. Um, some of it's going to be reminding and reviewing of other content from previous units. So if you remember the stuff from previous units, that will help you with this unit. In your composition notebook, it's going to be page 14, properties of matter and the effect of heat on matter. Really, it's going to be more the effect of heat on matter. Uh, properties of matter will be 6P23, which is actually the... Um, the last part of this unit, but um, there will be some properties of matter discussed in this as well. So let's start with that. Property. I'm going to give you this uh, kick here. Uh, it's pretty jazzy. But uh, simply properties, just like we did with soil, are things used to describe something, things used to classify, describe, or organize. That's a property. Okay. There are three properties of matter. Please do not confuse this with three states of matter. Uh, three states of matter solid liquid gas you've been you've been taught that since kindergarten these are three properties of matter um, that we'll we'll use in this half of the unit and then after we get through the unit test we'll come back to in the second half of the unit and they'll come back again the first one is mass either you have definite or not definite mass meaning uh, something that is definitely defined or something that is not easy to define mass you have volume, definite or not definite. Now, if you have not definite of something, it doesn't mean you don't have it. It just means you can't um, tell what it is exactly the same way every single time. And the third thing is shape. You either have definite shape or not definite shape, but you have one. Um, all states of matter have shape, mass, and volume. So when we talk about states of matter in class tomorrow, we will be talking about solids, liquids, and gases. We'll talk about how they have mass, volume, and shape, and if they have definite mass, definite volume, definite shape, or indefinite mass, volume, and shape, uh, depending on what state of matter it is. Moving on to the effect of heat on matter. Heat meaning warming or cooling. So a lot of people just want to say heat means get hotter. Um, you can take away heat and make things cooler. So when you see the word heat, it just means temperature. Uh, so what is the effect of temperature on matter? Well, atoms, we know that they will move faster and spread apart when heated. Just think about watching boiling water, right? So if water is sitting there in a pan, you're staring at it. It's the world's most exciting science experiment. And the water begins to boil. Well, the atoms start to speed up and start to bounce around and spread apart. And then eventually they will start to boil. And eventually, if you leave it there long enough, it will evaporate into a gas because the atoms will continue to spread apart faster and faster and faster. So if the opposite is also true, if you take away heat, uh, atoms tend to get closer together and slow down. So adding heat speeds it up, spreads them out, removing heat slows them down, puts them back together. There's a change in phase. So a change in the movement of atoms can lead to a change in phase. So change in phase meaning it's going from one of the three states of matter, but uh, believe it or not, there are four states of matter, plasma, gas, liquid, and solid. Uh, if you start from the solid and move up, as you heat up, you will transition into the different phases. Now, some things go through all four phases. Some things only go through two phases. Uh, depends on the molecule or the element or the atoms that are involved. And states of matter. So adding or removing heat can change the state of matter. For example, my two snowmen sitting right there, They uh, as he, she's being held up with a... Um, Hair dryer, if she turns that hair dryer on, he'll go from a solid snow to a liquid puddle. Uh, something that's Olaf Shimon told in his time. So that is the quick 6P22 notes, the uh, properties of matter at the beginning of that, and really the heat's effect on matter, which we'll be doing labs with when you get back to class. I will see you in class.